You need to carry on watching this video because the third point I'm going to be sharing is the main one that destroys everyone's confidence. What's up Inspirators? It's Inspiring Winners here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be doing a very important video because I know that a lot of people go through this and I know it's really important because some people who don't watch this video are the people who are going to get their haters to destroy their confidence. So please do carry on watching this video because the third point in this video is going to be the main one that completely knocks down people's confidence. And as you know, as I usually do say, confidence is so, so important. So please give this a thumbs up if you're going to watch to the end of the video. And please do comment down below where you are logging in from. And without further ado, let's get straight into the first point. So the first way that haters would try and destroy your confidence is by using the common card. And this is just a word that I made up myself, but the common card is basically when maybe there's unsupportive people or people may say your haters will do basically making you and persuading you and convincing you that it's so common that so many people don't have confidence and that means that's why you're not going to be confident. And basically what this does to you is it makes you think, oh actually a lot of people or a lot of people in the population aren't that confident which means it's most likely that I'm not capable to do that myself. And this is the first way how they do just sort of going it down and obviously the third point is when they bring it all the way back to the bottom and that's when people totally lose their self esteem and they totally lose their self confidence. The second thing that those haters will do to completely destroy and shut down your confidence is they will continuously just start saying unsupportive things until you change your decision or when you want to change anything to be honest. So for an example, if I had a massive opportunity and I had no idea what to do with it and I came up to some of the unsupportive people that I may know, which by the way, if you do know those unsupportive people, it's okay to know them, but it's not okay to spend so much time around them because otherwise you're gonna start adapting that sort of mindset. But obviously I've done a YouTube live about this. If you haven't watched that video, I'll put it in the description down below. But as I was saying, if I, had an opportunity and I had no idea what to do with it and I came up to one of those unsupportive people that I knew the best thing that I should have done is go to the people who do support me because those are the people who are going to give me the best opportunities and are going to help me strive for the best in my life but what the unsupportive people are going to do they're going to change their whole entire decision for you which gives them even more power because that means they think that they have enough power to completely change your life decisions and by controlling those decisions, it makes their life feel a little bit better than yours, which obviously is their power or their purpose of hating on you or unsupporting you. And the third most important thing or the most crucial thing that haters or unsupported people do is they'll make you feel like you should change yourself. And this is the most important one because it's really easy for people to easily just make a certain change, just to change maybe their personality or maybe their hair colour or maybe how maybe how they look. All these little things, they start getting bigger and bigger and that's why when they continue saying all the things that why you should change yourself, that's why you completely change as a person and that's why so many people have changed as people. But for reality, once they change to the people that they hate, haters ask them to be like, they're automatically just going to start criticising the person that they created anyway. What they would do is they will basically point out all the things that they believe aren't right about you or all the things they think that are fake about you. So that basically means that they're trying to develop a persuasiveness inside of you or trying to convince you to change as a person and this makes them happier because then they get to keep criticizing and keep criticizing but luckily for this video I'm going to be telling you guys so that if you do get haters or if you do get people in your life who do unsupport you at least you know the signals so you know not to change yourself because I know that every single inspirator on this YouTube channel is very unique and please like this video if you do agree. Thank you so much for watching this video fellow inspirator and also don't forget to 
like this video as I said before if you believe that everybody should be themselves at all times because obviously that is a very important thing and also if you haven't clicked that nice red button on the side then please do so you can join the Inspirators family here on YouTube and also if you click the little bell in the corner you get notified every single time I post a new video which is super cool because if you comment down below first then I'm very sure to reply back to you guys and without further ado I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!